Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my hobby vlog. Today we are talking about the Vinegar Syndrome box set, The Homegrown Horrors Volume 1. So first and foremost, just to get the packaging out of the way, uh, this is a lovely looking set. The spine looks amazing. It opens from the top, which is now my favorite type of box. It has all three movies here. So... The three films that are part of this box set is The Fatal Exam, Beyond Dreams Doors, and Winter Beast, which everybody loves. So, just overall reaction so far is the fact that this, these movies themselves range from like 3 out of 10 to 6 out of 10. They're not that good. But what makes them, but what makes this box set so good for me is the spirit of the filmmaking because all these movies here they are made micro budget very small budgets the crew don't really know how to make a movie the actors are constantly flubbing the lines the camera guy is not doing his best but it's the the charisma and the hard work that really shines through, especially in Winter Beast. But all these movies are really good. And the theme of the whole uh, Homegrown Horrors set, I don't have the top on right now, is the fact that this is a Homegrown Horror collection. It is regional horror films from North America, from the United States. And Fatal Exam bunch of college students in like Pennsylvania or somewhere uh, Beyond Dreams Doors it's made by I want to say um, a bunch of Ohio people according to the back a bunch of random people from rural Ohio The Winter Beast is made by a bunch of like Montana Montana like rural people like Everyone in this movie that's involved are like friends and like families and all these movies. But to go into the movies themselves, my favorite is Winter Beast. It is not the best made. None of these are. But I love the creature designs. All the uh, creature attacks are really awkward and awful. It's all stop motion, but it's not even good stop motion. Uh, they use dolls basically uh the music is actually really fucking good in this movie but there's one scene in particular because they had a bunch of different cameras with different resolutions so like they use like a 30 millimeter camera and like a 50 millimeter camera and they didn't know how to keep the resolution consistent and they also change actors from shot for shot. Like the dinner scene, as I was talking about. The two rangers show up to uh, the local, you know, party uh, bar. But, it, but they're having like bingo night because that's what happens in Montana. And so they're doing that. And it's like really awkward. The camera keeps switching. And then like the changing the actors so like our main character goes through like three different actors in that scene and like it is so bad and the main villain you don't really know he's a villain until the very end he is just like hamming it up so much he's so cheesy and it's just awesome i loved it but like that was the star of film in my opinion and it really encapsulates the hard work and like just although they didn't have all the resources they needed they really tried the hard the hardest but just to talk about the other movies real quick fatal exam was not good at all i mean it had its moments i enjoyed it it's about a uh, group of college students where they're given like a end of semester project to go study a haunted house and it's like really awkward like 
really bad scenes. There was some uh, Satanism, which is always fun. I always like that. But the main part I loved was that little creature. You can see him right there. He shows up for like half a second. That's like the big like shot of the movie is the devil coming out. And it's like this really shitty JPEG just floating around. And everyone was like, oh my god. At a 140p uh, JPEG. I mean, that's literally like the quality in the movie. It's so bad. It's like pencil drawn. But the other movie is Beyond Dreams Doors. It's about college students. They're doing a psychology project. And they are um, realizing that they're all having the same dreams. And so they're trying to figure out, you know, what the monster is and the dreams. When the monster kills somebody, it kills that person in real life. But then brings them into the dreams. It's a really cool concept. Got a little repetitive. It's not bad. It's better than Fatal Exam. But there's not much to talk about at all. The cover's cool. I have all the alternate covers, by the way. The other, the Vinegar Syndrome's focused covers look like this. This is Fatal Exam. This is Beyond Dreams Doors and then Winter Beast. Or, or Winter Beast on this side. So, really cool art. I really love the packaging. It is such a great looking package. My only thing is that this is volume one. And I have no idea what they're going to do next. I hope they put Suburban Sasquatch in there. If you haven't seen that Red Letter Media episode, you need to watch it. I was able to track down a DVD copy of it. And I watched it a bunch of times to the point where the DVD got kind of fucked up, actually. And so I got rid of it because I was like, I can't even watch this anymore. I should have DVD ripped it onto my computer, but I did not. I think that's it. That's all I have to talk about. But thank you all for watching. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies in the set, what you thought about the set if you own it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.